What up you guys? It's Shelby and I'm here to talk to you today about a super important topic when it comes to decluttering your life but also aligning and centering yourself in your unique beingness. And I know this minimalism topic hasn't really been talked about a lot on my channel, but I really love to approach things from the perspective of how it's helping you come back into your center, come back into your space of empowerment, and shine out that best, most vibrant, most radiant you. And minimalism has been the one key thing that has really helped me to hone in on my center, become my true self, and I want to share that with you. is this unique thing that has kind of taken over millennials and it is a movement where from the outside it looks like people are just getting rid of hordes and hordes and trash bags filled of clothes, kitchen supplies, craft supplies, books, papers, anything that you have in your house or in your home, in your car, in your life, at your desk getting rid of all that stuff. And that's what it looks like from the outside looking in, but from the inside, it's actually a huge movement for your own self-growth. And that's what I wanna share with you guys about how minimalism can bring you back into your center. And how it is so much more far-reaching than just getting rid of stuff. Stuff, the things that accumulate your life, it's so much more far-reaching and so much more beneficial than what it looks like from the outside. So if you're new to minimalism, then this is the video for you. And if you can relate to my story with depression and anxiety that I've shared on this channel, I'll drop my video below where I kind of talk a little bit more about that. Um, if you kind of rep feel like you're in that space, then this is the video for you to show you how to take those small steps to get out of that space, to feel decluttered from your life and to feel more in alignment. And like baseline, we're getting rid of stuff, right? How can that truly affect your financial life, your physical life, your mental life, and your spiritual life? But it does. And I've learned three things that I wanna share with you guys all about how minimalism is so much more far-reaching than what it looks like from the outside. Number one is letting go of control. And that's really easy to say, but this for me was letting go of the control of the future. So what I was doing whenever I looked at my clothes or whenever I go buy things, I was thinking like, oh, if I was ever stranded on a beach with Captain Jack Sparrow, I would need this. I would want to wear this. Or if I was invited to go on a sunset cruise in New England in October, I would have to wear this. So I was making up these futuristic ideas, things that hadn't even happened, that I was making me hold on to stuff that I didn't necessarily need. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to that, especially girls out there. We hold on to things because we think we're gonna need them in the future. So first thing I did was just release control of not knowing what the future held. And that led me into my next point. Number two, this is releasing control and holding on to joy. So I followed the KonMari method, if you guys haven't heard of it. Baseline, what it is, is that you pick up every single item that you own and ask, does this bring me joy? And if it doesn't, then you discard it, you sell it, you um, give it away, donate it. That's what I did. So I was holding on to joy rather than holding on to my fear of what the future held. So essentially I was getting rid of the non-Shelby items. I was getting rid of the things that didn't bring specifically me joy. And I was casting out those layers of myself that I had held on to. So items that helped me to be perceived in a better light for my bosses, my clients, my relationships, people, just strangers. Like I held on to so many things that I was using to appease other people and to make them see me in a certain way. And that just 
was never helpful. That was never helping me shine out the true Shelby that I am. And therefore it was deflecting a lot of the opportunities in my life for relationships, for travel, for um, jobs, for information, just everything. It was deflecting it away from me because I wasn't shining out the true center Shelby. And in getting rid of a lot of that extra stuff, I was finally able to delayer myself and get down into what truly was bringing me joy and be surrounded only by those things so that I was always in that mindset of do what brings me joy. Be surrounded by what brings me joy. So essentially, it was just bringing me back into alignment with myself, back into alignment with my center. And that's really what minimalism is so good at doing. It's helping you to just get rid of all that crap that you've accumulated in your life and come back to getting to know who you are. Number three. So the last tip that I learned or have realized thus far on my minimalism journey and they keep growing and keep compounding and I keep learning and discovering new things. But the last one so far is that I will always be provided for as long as I continue to make decisions based upon what brings me joy. So make decisions based upon what I bring into my home, into my life, uh, if, they make, if they give me joy. So if you focus on that joy factor, you focus on what is going to be the best for you, for that center core self, then you will always be provided for. You will always have what you need because you will always be making decisions based upon what makes you the most happy, not what makes other people happy, not what appeases other people, but what appeases you and makes you feel like the best person that you can be. So in sum, minimalism is really about extracting those superficial layers from yourself and getting back into your center, reminding yourself of what your unique self is, what it is that you wanna shine out to the world. And it really starts to cut down all of those things in your life that aren't serving you. And I know that this sounds crazy because we're just, we're getting rid of stuff, right? But we layer on so many things to appease the world, appease society, and because we're not following what our center is, that causes anxiety and worry and fear because we aren't starting first from the center, from our joy, from what directly helps us and brings us those feelings of joy. So I hope you guys like this video. It brings minimalism into a little bit more of a deeper landscape for you so that you can really see the value in getting rid of stuff is so much more far reaching for your entire life. I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like, drop a comment down below if you have questions, if I wasn't clear about something. I will link the blog post to this video down below too. So if you guys like reading things. You can go read that. Look at some pretty pictures. And don't forget to share this with your friends and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.